Welcome to Evo Online, I'm Major Freak. Let's do a couple of uh, Dread Assault. Now, this time I think I'll try to speed it up by putting two transfers on the Dread after I've gotten set up. And the nice thing about the Dread, you don't have to worry about it until you've gotten set it up. Un uh, gotten set it up, dear. Unlike the, uh, the emergency aid where you kind of really have to get yeah, repping applied to the to the Amar or whatever structure you're dealing with <laughs> right away. <laughs> it's kind of uh, slow on the uptake. Yeah, it's going to go pop. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't want to be bumping all over the place. Give me a second. So I'll switch to a tab that has only rats and acceleration gate and all the whiz, whiz bang stuff. And I'll get myself away. Now I'm pretty sure I can order my guys to warp to 10 to the acceleration gate. So you're still on zero. But not so uh, potentially bumpy. So everybody's on the tab. I need them to be perfect. Let's do this. And I need to hit the hardeners because I always forget to hit my hardeners. Drive, active, active, drive, active. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll land. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll click on the dreadnought. I will order an orbit as soon as I get the regroup. Oh my guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I got uh, EV Preview to only update every 2,000 whatever I change the settings. Oh! Great. out of it. Did I have everybody regrouping? I think this might get a bit loud. I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> yeah, I've got these new graphical settings I'm testing and the sound. I've turned sound for everybody on, so cross our fingers. Hope we don't get any snap, crackle, and pop. So everything's fine. We're at... Uh, 233 sensor strength and we have the ability to put uh, two energy transfers on the big walrus here. Alright, two and three. F2, F3. I mean F1, F3. I'm an idiot. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> yeah, it's possible to get jammed even at such a high sensor strength. Uh, it's the mechanics of the game. It's uh, very um, interesting. Uh oh, come on, guys! I better not be. Okay, who's? What's going on? Rub, rub. I'm going to shut off repping. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a risk here in trying to cap up this thing. So I think once, once it goes into shooty mode, I'll try to cap up my guys. I think that'll be the best option. Hopefully it won't hate it hopefully it won't take uh 
it won't take up too much confusion on my part swapping between them, right? So, one, three, one, three, one, three. Switch quickly back. Okay, I'm not getting that many freezes. Let me minimize that. That's annoying. Uh, I'm not getting that many freezes here, swapping between clients, which is great. I really like that. It's awesome. We're all doing great. Okay. Oh wait, I need that guy. Uh oh, I I I just got a black screen. That's not good. Okay, so I'm actually getting graphical artifacts. Unfortunately, let's hope it doesn't continue. I don't hear my computer whining though. Like the computer fan is fine. All right. Um, turn it off. There we go. Double it up. That should uh, accelerate that a little bit better. Now I wonder if I was doing something at the moment it went black screen for my thumbnails. I've got them the updating slowing down and it seems to be okay. I'm not getting confused by the by the delay, right? So hopefully that helps with the lag, but I'm don't like that black screen. I do not like that. Hmm. Okay, this is pretty quick. This is awesome. This is really quick actually compared to uh before. Ah, suck it, trainers. And there we go. How is my capacitor? Why are you so low, buddy? Zap. And it's nice to have decent graphics on my clients now. Really like these new settings. This is awesome. Now I'm going to watch these thumbnails and. Okay, that's not bad. The delays, yeah, the delay's totally acceptable. Uh, should I actually cap my guys up? I think I'm fine. I don't know what's going on with you. You're probably getting heavily nuded though. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I suck. Yeah, I've got grail implants instead of uh, my usual talisman. I like my talisman implants, they're awesome. Especially in a Mars space. Alright. I'm good to go, I guess. No. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Der. Derp -derp. I don't feel like screwing around. I won't be doing these for very much longer. I'm just checking it out. You know? It's, it was fun to do the the theory craft of seeing if I could get a ship that could do at least two anomalies. I was hoping for four, but right. I'll try to do the raid, but the guy with three wreaths, a stabber, and an osprey is 200 IQ, so uh, he can take those for sure. I am going to try a MTU. I'm sure he's tried it, but I'm going to try to empty you. I'll bet you I won't be able to place it anywhere close to that jet can, but it would be funny if I could, and it'd be funny if it would drag the racks, because then I wouldn't need a, um, I wouldn't need a hauler at all. <laughs> it would be hilarious. I could just get this, uh, get this a combat ship and be done with it. Yeah, I've got this Iteron with the ability to target four targets, 
and I've got four subverted, uh, sorry, I've got four really, one of the overpowered uh, medium drones, and I've got four of them, and I've got four targets. I've got two uh, shields, uh, I'm not paying attention to mine, uh, shield uh, reppers, remote, and I just remote rep the drones, and it, it was working fine. It, it, it was just that I didn't have a big enough cargo hold with, uh, I believe I had the nearest. I wasn't happy with it. So I was like, screw it. What ship can I get that can do all this and mount a MWD, right? But now I'm like, what if, what if an MTU works? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So I'll definitely try the raid very soon and see if I can cheese the hell out of it. That would be hilarious if I could plant the MTU right beside that gigant. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. But wouldn't that be funny? Be lol. Okay, this is a lot faster. I think what I'll do is I'll quickly cap up I'll use all my I'll use all my mods on my ships and then drop the energy transfers and apply it to the dreadnought I think that's the best way to prevent myself from getting cascade failure and I believe we are done uh, how much reward yeah there we go I did another one recently off we go Uh, I think somebody's... No, that's that might be me? No, that's somebody else. I think somebody else is running it. Time to add more people to my... And I, I don't need to steep... I don't need to go in there like I did before. I, I know what I, what's going on. I'm curious as to what they're in there using. I'm sure it's augers. I'm sure everybody's, you know, doing the auger thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sure they're in one corp. Yeah, it's them. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and that's just probably a noob. Yep, cool. And, and how many people in here? Probably five. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. That makes my job so much easier. Okay. Boop. Okay. Uh, um, this is interesting because you get to see that error message up there. You will get that at the acceleration gate, but you, nobody's going to get any its reward. It's a really weird error because we're only ten people. Why are we getting that? It, it's a really weird it's it's only cosmetic because it really doesn't matter to me it's like one on the 10 scale of bugs but eh, whatever so i have somebody running those and he's killed the site oh a raid okay well let's go check out the raid we okay uh, am I going to the right one? Yeah, of course I am because it won't let me click on anything else when I'm in warp. Where are you, buddy? You going to our buzz? Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah, time to test out my uh, yeah yeah funny attempt at uh, cheesing. Now I don't have any plates, so I better be I think I'll land my guys first because at first I thought oh the the haulers that you're supposed to sh uh, get will only spawn you maybe I thought there was only like three of them that spawn during the entire time period but no they spawn every two minutes They spawn every two minutes, um, so I don't need to throw the hauler in first. I can 
whoop de doo for the first one that shows up right away. And I'm like, see ya. Have fun. Alright. Um, so, raid. Oh, this guy's just a scout for um, Empire Strongholds, which I actually should be really doing, but he starts to do, I guess, do his scouting at about 3.30, 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's, yeah, when he's doing stuff, it's, yeah, it's hard to compete because he's got so many alts that he can scout so quickly compared to me. <laughs> That's why you saw the 500% uptick in uh, uh, monthly economic report for uh, strongholds, guaranteed. What's really funny is they haven't put the metrics on the MER for, yeah, for Homefront, which is typical. Okay, did, what's going on? I didn't catch the warp. Okay, fair enough. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. La la la. Alright, so I'll start another one for rate. 